Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Boy Girl Power Thermal Neon Collection. I'm going to water test these today. Water marble test them. I'm just going to use two colors at a time. You know, just, just to see how well they water marble. They water marble like a dream. I'm telling you, if you're having issues, these might be your polishes. <laughs> And on this round, I'm doing the orange and the blue. Um, I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to do like two colors at a time. And I have sped this up. I don't want you guys thinking that, you know, I'm wicked fast like that. I just wanted to share this and, you know, show you what, I, what I'm seeing. I'm wiping off my tool in between... Um, passes over the polish and water dipping down in the center to kind of make it anchor and if you hear that huffy puffiness that's cotton he's he's carpet swimming he's being all happy so I've decided I'm just gonna go in and draw in some more little squigglies this is just the basic flower petal design And then I'm going to pick a spot and this is some of my gel polish wearing you know I've been wearing and removing nail art and doing nail art over the same polishes um, recycling that base so got a little bubble there I'm trying to pop it so there we go first one is to done worked out really really well so real quick I'm gonna run this tool around my nail and break that seal before I remove this latex and I should have broke out my tape today but I forgot so we're back to using tweezers like in the good old days what a mess girl get your stuff together there we go you guys know I like to do that snap and that pull and snap to break that because I go all up under my nail and I don't want to run it over the design and mess it up. So next we're going to go in with the next two colors. We'll run that toothpick around the cup to make the polishes spread all the way to the edge. Look how, I mean they just spread beautifully. Um, all of these did. They just really, really impressed me. Water marbling is one of my favorite nail art techniques and this was just a lot of fun playing with these so here we go we're going to go in with another design going down to the bottom and up to the top and then I'm going to keep going out and then back to the center kind of making like a little chevron or I don't know what you want to call that design dip down into the center and then I'm just gonna swirl it get all crazy because we're playing and water marbling water marble testing is one of my favorite things to do you just have I just have so much fun with it so there we go we're gonna clean up that excess some bubbles but I popped them and dip back in there we go kind of a crazy looking thing and we're gonna do the same we're gonna bust that um, you know seal between my nail and you know the latex and get this latex off Having some issues Maybe I should take the time to take out the tape, but snap, there we go. Goodness gracious. And now we're going to do two more. This is the pink and the green. And I will have information listed down below for Boy Cosmetics for this collection and also information on their uh, giveaway. They're running a contest, and they're going to have a $500 giveaway um, way later on this year, like in August or something, um, for submissions 
of nail art using their polishes. So I will leave information down below for that if you would like to go check them out. And I'm just doing different designs today. I'm just playing, just straight up playing. Welcome to my playpen. We play in with polish. And that's Cotton again, getting very happy. I think he's feeling my happiness and he's getting happy. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Another one done. Just like before, we're going to go around the nail and break that seal. And I probably should have edited some of this part out, but this is the reality of water marbling. It's messy, there's extra steps, but the final look is just so cool that it's worth it. Come on, there we go. There we go. And now on to the fourth one. <laughs> the fourth double. I just, these these are great. Um, I've, I've found a lot of polishes at Water Marble really well, but neons normally are finicky with the water marbling technique. They dry so fast. Um, but these just, they're, they're amazing. You can just keep playing and manipulating the polish in the water on top of the water and you know that's that's just wonderful especially since the summer and we're all looking for our, you know our bright colors these work great so I did the four petal design and now I'm swooshing them out just to get a different look for this nail here we go we're gonna try to find a spot and dip in. Clean that water up. I would, I would, I'm telling you, I would do water marbles for all my manis if I had time. I just, I enjoy it that much. I just, it's my happy place. Inside of my happy place. Get this latex off, we'll head on to the very last one. There we go. So here we go. Gonna spread that out to the edge and get to dropping, making that bullseye. <clears throat> and I am just using regular room temperature water, nothing special about the water I use. Um, I normally just keep a old water bottle with just regular old tap water sitting in it in my room until I'm ready to, to do a water marble. So here we go. And you guys know this is like one of my favorite designs. I do it all the time. You can, oops, and then I had to go mess it up. But let me show you something. I was thinking about redoing it, and I thought, oh, let's just play, just swirl and play. And then I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway, because this is an abstract water marble. No nails are matching, not with colors, not with designs. <laughs> and you know what? This ended up being my favorite one. <laughs> ah, sloppy Tina, I swear. But it really was. It was my favorite one out of all of them. <laughs> so I've got them all top coated and dry and I'm going to show some water play here with some cold water and some warm water. And they don't change all the way. I'm not leaving my hands down in there until my fingertips are numb. <laughs> but I do want to show you. There we go. They get dark when they're cold and then they look bright neon when they're warm got a couple of swatch photos here for you 
But I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.